Monte Gras city of the Northland, cradled in the white magic of Quebec's Laurentian Mountains, the town as a name is picturesque as the scenic effects that surround it. saint agathe du Mans, St. Agatha of the Mountains. This is probably the most famous winter sport land on the North American continent. Here, every season, come the best skiers from the States and from Canada. The generous sprinkling of skaters, tobogganers, and just plain spectator sportsmen. Many a sun worshiper enjoys getting his winter tan with a bit of snow and a bit of windburn. They make a big production of winter carnival time up here at St. Agatha parades with plenty of feathers and furs. Even though the nippers might squirm from the itch of red flannels, they always enjoy a bang up parade. What do you think they're hanging around for with the mercury at zero? Aha, <laughs> why the queen, of course, with her ladies in waiting. The glamorous touch to this frostbite fiesta. The palace of ice where the queen rules over her empire of winter sports. The carnival gets an official blessing from his honor, the mayor, and Jack Frost takes over as master of ceremonies. Turn your backs to the wind, kids. Do it the hard way. May not be fast, but it sure is funny. Just a couple of fall guys. Doesn't really matter who wins, they all get prizes. Guess what? Ice cream cones. All out for the small fry obstacle race. A lot of fun if you have the stomach for it. Steeplechase on skates, and believe me, anything goes, but mostly, huh? The seats of the pants and the buttons off coats. Skid, kid, skid. This time, the benches are hurdles. Hey, this is a tough course. Calls for a tough kid. It is tough in the right spots. Now, who's that moving onto the ice? Looks like kids playing hooky to play hockey. Ah, that's for Canadian kids. The Dominion's national game, and do those Quebec youngsters ever mix it up? They take to a puck like kids on the other side of the border, go for a football free-for-all. Every one of them is a potential star for the pro hockey loops. Here, a kid starts to skate as soon as he can walk. He plays hockey as soon as he can skate. The spectators at this frigid festival sure get plenty of variety. Horse-drawn sled race, regular Courier and Ives picture out of the days of Jingle Bells to many of us. Brother, they can really travel. Next on the sporting agenda, the sulky race on ice. A purely American form of sport, it's the ultimate in skill and twice as dangerous. Rounding the turn is where the driver has to keep a tight grip on the rein and a rabbit's foot in his pocket. The skid, and there's just cracked ice and cracked bones. Winning in the stretch and both horse and driver are sure glad there isn't another lap. Most thrilling event of the carnival, the International Dog Sled Race, featuring the best mushers and malamutes in the North Country. Men and women, too, who've traveled all over the trackless wastes of the Yukon, Alaska, Baffinland, Newfoundland, behind teams of Siberians, Huskies, Eskimo sled dogs. The starter tolls the second, three, two, and the first team's on its way. It's a race against time with handicaps for weight and the sled and the number of dogs hauling it. Many grueling miles lie ahead. The most famous lead dog is Shago. He raced through the snow at Bastogne in the Battle of the Bulls to bring back supplies to the surrounded Americans. That was a race for keeps that made Chago a champion for keeps. The route of the race is across the famous Lake of the Sands, following a plowed course across country on a triangular course that measures 16 miles for each leg. Actually, they take three days to complete the race. This is the most picturesque, the most fascinating event in the whole world of sport, and brother, it's rugged too.
over frozen lakes they go. These two sleds aren't more than 100 yards apart. The two leaders battling for the pace-setting position. It's nip and tuck whenever one contestant overtakes a rival. Fourteen teams from Canada, the United States and Labrador. There's an American Air Force rescue team from Goose Bay, driven by Sergeant Chuck Lane. There are three women in the race, one of them racing against her own husband. Fastest time turned in by a good ten minutes is by Winnie Shear and his team led by Shago. But don't forget that handicap, which gives the race to Dr. Charlie Bulford of Deerfield, Massachusetts. And he did it in the first race that he's entered in 13 years. Ah, here's a welcome sight, a place to sit down after all that violent exercise. Go right ahead, madam, ladies first. This is one where the worst duffer has as much form as the greatest skier in the world, that is, unless heights make him dizzy. Now you can see why winter sport fans pick the Laurentians as the most beautiful spot outside the Alps to go sliding down the mountain on waxed hickory. So let's get some of the ski stars up here to do their stuff. And there, stretched out in front of us, lies one of the fastest ski runs in the world. And here to compete in the winter carnival are snowbirds from every winter sportland that you can think of. So wax up those runner boys, step into your harness and let's get going. Take a number and slide over to join the waiting contestants. Won't be long now. From the colleges, from the ski clubs of Canada and the United States, from the resorts of Europe come the fleetest flyers to test their speed and skill against the official timer. It's a race with a stopwatch, and there goes one down the famed Laurentian Trail. signal to shove off, to skim over the frozen crust on slippery barrel staves. The speed, the biting wind in your face, the bracing air in your lungs. With thrills like this, the wonder skiing's the fastest growing sport in America. Burning up the snow at 50 miles an hour. The fastest sport on two feet. Hey, that guy doesn't hurry. Somebody's gonna catch him. Over the hump and never a bump. Getting up steam for the final sprint to the finish. Shift your ballast in the wrong direction and you're likely to be the guest of honor at an operation for a skull fracture. You see, they haven't invented skis with brakes. Little things like hillocks, while well, they just take in their fleet flight. Swift wind-up of a snowy festival. Whirlwind dash for the finish line at the Winter Carnival, and there goes the winner. When it comes to frostbitten gambles at the Snow Fiesta and the Laurentian, sportsmen and spectators are sure to fall for it. <laughs>